Precious! Precious, wake up! Precious! Come on, Pete, it's time to get up. First day of school today. <sighs> Already the first day of school. Yes, sleepyhead. Come downstairs. We made you breakfast. Oh, and you might want to get ready, too. <sighs> so, how do I look? Aw, you look so precious! <laughs> precious? Wow, haven't heard that a million times. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy and excited for you to start school. You look lovely, princess. Dad, I told you not to call me princess anymore. Please don't. Well, I'm sorry. I can't help it. You're just so cute. Ugh, you're gonna make me barf. Precious, just come and sit down and eat cereal. Ugh, alright, alright. Cornflakes. My favorite. So, Gloria, do you want to tell Precious what you're gonna start doing today? Uh, Gloria is going to start looking for a job today. Oh, uh, um, congrats, I guess. Just eating breakfast. <sighs> um, I see we got more furniture in. Uh, that's nice. I know, right? It's all so beautiful. Better than our old furniture. Uh, no offense to the old furniture, of course. Furniture can't get offended, Lena. I know. I still feel bad anyways. Well, I'm off to work. Angel, you're driving Precious to school, right? Who else would take Precious to school? Well, okay. See you later, girls. Have a good day at school, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Alright, see ya. starvation? School's gonna start in half an hour. Half an hour? Why don't you wake me an hour earlier? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Kinda woke up a little bit late. I'm off to go start looking for a new job. Take care, Lena. Oh, see you later, Gloria. Take care. Don't tell me what to do. Why does Gloria hate me so much? She doesn't hate you. She just dislikes you for what she thinks you did on purpose. She hates me, Lena. Fifteen years I've tried everything I could to make her like me, and none of it's working. Fifteen years, Lena. Oh, don't worry about her, Precious. Easy for you to say she actually likes you. Did you hear what she said back there? Don't tell me what to do. Ugh. Precious, listen. Gloria just doesn't understand. She wants to blame all her problems on one thing. That one thing just so happens to be you. I'll say. Listen, Gloria and Mom had a really good bond. I mean, it's not your fault. You didn't mean for any of this to happen. Sometimes I think it's best if I was just dead. Oh, knock it off. Maybe someday she'll understand. She'll like you, eventually. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, hurry up and eat those cornflakes. Chop, chop! Ugh. <sighs>